Hello world, Apple has just filed a new lawsuit against the infamous spyware developers NSO Group. Now, if you don't know what NSO Group is, welcome, you must be new here. I've made quite a few videos on these guys. Essentially, they make some of the world's most advanced spyware, which primarily targets iOS and Android devices. They wrap up these zero day vulnerabilities they discover, stick a little bow on top, and sell their software to the most awful regimes imaginable, such as those of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, etc and then act surprised when their tools are used to carry out human rights abuses, allegedly. Now, I'm not going to rehash their whole history, but just one example to give you an idea of who we're dealing with, it's been alleged that NSO spyware, which is called Pegasus, was used to spy on the close relatives of the Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi. He was a journalist before he was murdered by Saudi secret agents, cut up into little pieces and dissolved in acid, breaking bad style. The allegation is that spying using Pegasus aided in planning his assassination, and even if you ignore this one example, or for whatever reason it turns out to be false, there is an odd pattern of instances where Pegasus spyware has apparently been used for evil. So, in this new lawsuit filed by Apple, they describe NSO in the most amazing terms, saying the defendants are notorious hackers, amoral 21st century mercenaries who have created highly sophisticated cyber surveillance machinery that invites routine and flagrant abuse. Ouch, now that has to be one of the most eloquent roasts of NSO I've ever heard. However, Apple's hurdle in this lawsuit is that you can't necessarily hold NSO responsible for the actions of their customers, just like you can't blame a gun manufacturer for a shooting. However, Apple counters this by arguing that NSO provides consulting and expert services to their clients, assists them with their deployment and use of Pegasus, and participates in their attacks on Apple devices, servers, and users. And so because NSO is at least somewhat involved in the use of their tools, they should be held responsible for its use. Apple is demanding some pretty hefty penalties, one of which is described as a permanent injunction restraining defendants from accessing and using any Apple servers, devices, hardware, software, applications, etc. Now, if Apple gets the way on this, it would de facto kill NSO's business model overnight, because of course you can't exploit iOS devices if you can't use iOS devices. NSO would be screwed, basically. Apple is also asking for disgorgement of defendants' profits resulting from the conduct alleged. That's legal speak for give us all the money you made hacking iPhones. This would also cripple NSO for reasons that we'll get to shortly. Along with filing this lawsuit, Apple has simultaneously announced a new notification system for victims of state-sponsored hacking. They explain here on their website that if Apple discovers activity consistent with a state-sponsored hack, we notify the targeted users in two ways. Firstly, you'll get one of these threat notifications when you log in on Apple's website, which seems a little pointless. I mean, how often do you log into Apple's website? I've never done that. Alternatively though, Apple will send you an email and iMessage notification. Now, Apple makes it clear not to rely on this system though, adding that it's possible that some Apple threat notifications may be false alarms or that some attacks are not detected. Oh, and if you wake up one morning to find an alert like this sent to your phone, don't bother asking Apple for more information. As Apple says, they are unable to provide information about what causes them to issue threat notifications, as that may help state-sponsored attackers adapt their behavior to evade detection in the future. So if you do get an alert, you're effectively on your own. Better just, I don't know, burn everything. If we're being honest though, this is a really positive move on the part of Apple. If they win, it sets somewhat of a precedent for other companies thinking of supplying awful regimes with super advanced hacking tools. Another nugget of praise for Apple comes in the form of them announcing that they will donate any money they make from this lawsuit to Citizen Lab, Amnesty Tech, and other nonprofits that expose spyware. Without these two organizations in particular, much of the NSO Pegasus abuses simply wouldn't have come to light. Journalists and activists targeted by state-sponsored hackers rely on organizations like these to investigate their cases. However, whilst Apple opening up this new front against NSO is of course something to applaud, let's not delude ourselves into thinking that tech giants, like Apple, care about our privacy and security as a matter of principle. In this case, it may have been convenient to side with users, but let's not forget the concessions Apple has made on user privacy and security in China, where they have effectively ceded control of user data and even legal ownership of that data to a company owned by the Chinese state, to the point where, according to a New York Times investigation, Apple don't even run their Chinese data centers. They're effectively manned by government employees and only monitored by Apple from outside the country. 
I have a whole video on Apple's Chinese concessions, which I'll link below if you want to watch it and lose some social credit score. However, back to NSO Group, on which there is more good news. It seems NSO is facing a dramatic decline. They're being torn apart at their seams, and it looks like Apple's lawsuit may simply be yet another milestone in their inevitable demise. One can only hope. For example, earlier this month, the US sanctioned NSO Group for what the US Department of Justice describes as enabling the practice of authoritarian governments targeting dissidents, journalists, and activists. The sanctions mean that US companies simply can't do any kind of business or have any kind of relationship with NSO without a license. Breaking the rules would incur some big fines. To add to NSO's growing list of problems, they were recently denied an appeal to have their ongoing lawsuit instigated by Facebook thrown out. If you weren't aware, they're also being sued by Facebook, which claims they hacked WhatsApp. Though that's old news. It came to light in 2019, but these things take time, and there really just haven't been many developments since then. Also, the guy who was meant to become NSO's new CEO has just quit. And NSO have just had their credit rating downgraded to just slightly above the substantial risk category. The reason I bring this up is because, look, we can have our circle jerk as to why NSO is awful and bad and whatever, but if they're profitable, then it's irrelevant. This downgrading of their rating by Moody's is an amoral judgment on their future outlook, which is looking increasingly bleak. They're in debt to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, and lenders are trying to offload their debt at a steep discount in order to distance themselves from NSO. This video is sponsored by Linode, who are giving you $100 worth of free cloud computing. Linode is a totally customizable cloud hosting platform. Whether you're looking to quickly spin up a VPN, website, or host a Kubernetes cluster, Linode has you covered. If it runs on Linux, it'll run on Linode. Linode just announced availability of their NVMe block storage, the first alternative cloud provider to officially support this state-of-the-art hardware at no extra cost to their customers. Linode's philosophy is to focus on providing all the tools a developer really needs at competitive prices. Use the link in the description now to claim your free $100. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure to help me out by fondling the like button for the YouTube AI, as well as turning on those sub notifications. If you want to see what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to follow me on the Instagrams. I'm at John T. I will, of course, link it in the description. And if you're looking for something to watch next, go check out my previous video on the new allegations against election hackers. As always, sources will be linked in the video description. Stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.